We even have a candle burning in the background today to set the mood. Hello, beauty guru. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite pamper products. These are basically the products that I use at night. Why is it? I feel like it's 95 degrees in here right now. I've been meaning to talk about my favorite face masks for a while, so I'm including those in this video. Just kind of like my favorite unwind products for the end of the night, and also how I keep my teeth white. So this is kind of my nighttime products. Let me know if you guys like routine videos better where you see me actually doing it, or if you like this style video. I feel like I can talk more in depth about the actual products when I do it this way, but let me know what you prefer down below. Before we jump into the video, my hair is obviously dark. This is demi-permanent. We're actually doing silver ombre today. Since I'm gonna be out of town for the holidays, I needed to film today, so that is why I have black hair right now. <laughs> Let's refrain from all hair comments. That'd be awesome. Let's jump into the products. I feel like I need another cup of coffee right now. So every time I wear these eye masks on Snapchat, chat I get questions about what they are. And I don't think I've ever actually mentioned these in a video, possibly in a Raves and Rejects video, but I love these things. These are the Crystal Collagen Gold Powder Eye Mask. They're super cheap. You can get them off of Amazon. I get them in like a pack of 10. I'm pretty sure they're under 10 bucks. I've tried the Skin. Is it Ski or Skin? I think it's Skin Iceland. I've tried their under eye masks and for the price I just really didn't see that much of a difference. I love sticking these in the refrigerator and just putting them on first thing in the morning. They're super refreshing. Even without sticking them in the fridge, they're super cool. I don't think they're gonna help like your wrinkles or anything like that under the eyes really, but they do help de-puff And whenever I'm just freaking exhausted and feel like I need something extra in the morning I just pop these on and they're also gold so that makes it extra exciting Everything I talk about like always is linked down below in the description box Okay, I have a ton of face masks here to mention I'm gonna mix them in with other products so we don't just talk about face masks for 10 minutes But I'm gonna start out with probably my favorite face mask lately in the last like few months which is the L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask. Whenever I talk about the black L'Oreal mask, this is what I'm talking about. I've literally gone through two of these and this one is almost empty. There's something about this that makes my skin feel so smooth and detoxified and I personally really like the smell. It does have a really strong scent, a little bit perfumey, but it doesn't really bother me. This one I think is more for normal to oily skin. If you have dry skin, probably wouldn't recommend this. And it has this really nice consistency to it where it almost feels like a gel clay mask, if that makes sense. I've never felt a consistency like this in a face mask before. It goes on super smooth. I just really love this. So teeth whitening. This is how I keep my teeth white. These three products are literally all I use to keep my teeth white. They work wonders. So the whitening gel I'm talking about, I've been using for a long time now, probably nine months. This is white with style. I've talked about this before. I have two bags here because one is the trays that I've been using for a long time and then this is a new package. So basically these are like at-home teeth whitening kits. These for me actually work. Obviously I wouldn't be talking about them if they didn't. This is the new one I have. So in the little kit you get these gels and you basically just plop them in boiling water until they're soft and squishy and you can mold them to your teeth. Then you just plop them in cold water, cut around the gum line because you obviously want the product on your teeth, not on your gums. And then all you do is just squirt the little gel into the tray you need the tiniest amount of gel. Online it says the gel is supposed to last you 10 uses. I actually get a little bit more out of it. I don't know if I'm not using enough, but I still see results with it. It could be because I whiten my top more than my bottom teeth. But you just put the trays in, get to turn on this fun little LED light thing, and this just totally closes around your mouth. I'm gonna get lipstick all over my face if I try to put this in right now, but you can just chill with this in your mouth. I usually work or watch YouTube or whatever while I have this in at night. Once you get your teeth to the level of white that you're going for, you have to use it way less often. I literally only use this about once a month now to make sure that my teeth still look white but the other two products I'm going to talk about help maintain the whiteness so if you're only using this for once or twice a month this will last you anywhere from about five to ten months depending on how often you use it. I like the mint scent. These are cruelty free, vegan, and gluten free and they don't have peroxide in them so peroxide is the ingredient in whitening products that if you have sensitive teeth that's what can really make your teeth sensitive so I've never felt that like cold feeling with this whitening product. So this is like the big kahuna. This is what I'm using when I feel like my teeth are starting to get yellow again. This video is in collaboration with White With Style. If it wasn't something that I believed in, I wouldn't talk about it. But the coupon code, the tailor will give you 90% off retail, so you can get this for 28 bucks. So these two other products are like my maintenance mode teeth products. So I have the Colgate Optic White Express White Toothpaste. The Express White version is my favorite. I really don't like the taste of it. I feel like it doesn't taste as minty as the Crest 3D White Toothpaste, but I do feel like this toothpaste works better than 3D White for me. I actually saw a difference in the first few days of using this. I don't think it was psychological. I think I actually saw a difference. And then this product, I swear by it, this is the Crest 3D White Luxe Glamorous White 
alcohol free uh, not toothpaste mouthwash I really love the Colgate optic white mouthwash as well I stopped using this mouthwash a couple years ago because I thought it made my lip ring infected and it could have just been because it was newer back then but I decided to try this out again a few months ago and now it's totally fine with my lip ring it doesn't make it burn or anything like that and I really feel like this makes a difference I use this once a day I use it at night after I brush my teeth and this in combination with the Colgate is totally fine it doesn't make my teeth sensitive or anything like that so on a full-blown pamper night I will put on a face mask at the same time as a hair mask and my favorite hair mask lately has been the l'oreal total repair 5 damage erasing balm this thing rocks i've tried tons of high-end products i feel like i just went a little across it tried so many high-end hair products to fix my freaking hair and this one i feel like makes the biggest difference i don't know you can get this for like under 10 bucks at the drugstore i usually use this in the shower but you can also use it on dry hair and just put like a cap around your head and then put face mask on very relaxing. I mean, I leave this on for like an hour if I need to. Another one of my favorite masks, and this one is super affordable, is the Giovanni Detox System Purifying Facial Mask. This is another one that's like charcoal. I really like the charcoal-y kind of ones. It smells refreshing, but doesn't have a super strong scent to me. It says it has charcoal, volcanic ash, and super antioxidants like acai and goji berry. This one really helps to not dry out my skin, but it really does like detoxify, I feel like. I got this off of iHerb. I have seen Giovanni products at TJ Maxx lately, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to find that there, but this is super affordable on iHerb. A not so affordable face mask is the Fresh Umbrian Clay Purifying Mask. This is another detoxifying mask. This one I really didn't wanna like because it's so expensive, but I probably will be repurchasing this because I do think it helps my skin. I hate the smell of this. It almost smells like a Mario Badescu mask. It smells like very uh, raw ingredients in here. Kind of looks like baby food. It says you only have to leave this on for three to five minutes. I usually leave it on for an hour. I leave almost all of my face masks on for like a half hour to an hour. Out of the three face masks I mentioned so far, I think you could probably go with one of the three. If you're into high-end masks and you want like top quality ingredients, this one is really nice. This is the Body Shop Peppermint Intensive Foot Rescue. And I got this because my heels are super dry and cracked right now. It might be TMI, but everyone has heels, right? This I love putting on when I get out of the shower. I'll just like coat this all over my feet and then put on socks. And this actually works. It makes your feet feel softer. It's this really pretty like cotton candy pink color and it smells amazing. It smells like peppermint but also a little bit more medicinal. The super thick product really helps with my cracks and dryness. I only have two more face masks and then I'm going to stop bombarding you with face masks but this is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask. You can get this giant ass tub off of Amazon. It's a, I don't really want to open it because powder is going to go all over but it's a straight up powder. You can mix this with water but I like to mix it with apple cider vinegar which is supposed to be really good for acne. This is intense you guys. This is like for me a once every week or once every two weeks kind of mask. This is more of a skin treatment to me than a like relaxing nightly kind of face mask. First couple times you use it your face might get really really red afterwards and that's normal. And on the back it says that sometimes you feel your face pulse and I totally feel that sometimes with certain face masks like your skin underneath feels like it's kind of pulsing. There is no talking happening when you have this face mask on. This is one where you need to just like chill in your room and not talk to the world for a little bit. This one out of all these I've been using for the least amount of time but I've quickly been falling in love with this. This is the Origins Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask to Rescue Problem Skin. We all know I got a lot of cystic acne going on. My skin has been bad again. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but I have major cystic breakouts on my chin area again. When I was looking at this on Ulta, the ingredients sold me. This has zinc oxide, sulfur, camphor, salicylic acid, and my skin reacts really well to salicylic acid. This just had really good ingredients in it. It smells like mentholatum. If you've ever used mentholatum, like when you're sick, it smells exactly like mentholatum. I personally really love that smell. You get like a very minty cooling kind of sensation, and I do only leave this on for about 15 minutes. I used this a couple days ago when I had open acne on my face and I just actually use it as like a spot treatment and you can use it like that as well and I feel like it really helps to dry it down. So I wanted to mention my favorite essential oils and diffuser because I get a lot of questions about this on Snapchat whenever I show it. Essential oils I have mixed feelings about. The reason why I tried these originally were for my migraines and I don't think it does anything for my migraines whatsoever when I just put it in the diffuser but I do have this tension roll-on essential oil. I'll link it down below because I got it off of Amazon. That one I feel like kind of gives me the same effect as Biofreeze. It doesn't make the pain go away but it relieves it a tiny bit but how I use essential oils now is just for scent like in the room before I'm going to bed certain scents are really calming and different oils do different things so there's like energizing oils there's cleaning oils there's 
relaxation oils. I just use it to basically help relax at night. So my favorite all-time scent is peppermint and it's by the Eden's Garden brand. I think Eden's Garden makes my favorite essential oils. I've totally gone through the peppermint one so I need to reorder it. But this is Hedy's. I also really like this one. And then I have the Now Tea Tree Oil. This is like a giant thing of tea tree. This smells really good. Minty fresh tea tree scent. This is obviously it's pure tea tree oil. My diffuser is back there plugged in but I'm going to insert a clip right now of it so you can see. This is the Now brand diffuser. I got it off of Amazon. Amazon. I've had it for probably over a year now, a year and a half maybe. I don't like the look of like the cheap plasticky diffusers. This one feels like it's really good quality. You just take the top off. It has bamboo outside. I just love diffusing some oils at night. It really helps to relax and especially if you have the face mask on and the foot cream and the hair mask and you got your oils going just a good time. So this is probably the most random thing I'm mentioning, but this is like a total mental thing for me, but it totally helps. I got these glass bottles off of Amazon and I got Christy to get them, Robbie to Christy. It has also changed her water drinking game. So I feel like, I mean, it's 100% psychological, but it actually helps. You get six of these in a pack, you get them off of Amazon. Did I just say that? They're just thick glass bottles that you can fill up with water and then stick in the sink. So you always have cold water to drink. I'm someone who never used to drink enough water. And for some reason, if it's cold and if it's in a cute bottle and I can just take it wherever I drink way more of these I literally go through over six of these in a day I almost always refill them throughout the day save wasting plastic by buying watered bottle watered bottle <laughs> bottled water and there is nothing that feels better than when you get out of the shower and you have a cold glass of water waiting for you so if you have issues drinking water try getting these bottles it helps so that is everything. Let me know your favorite face masks and whitening products down below. The link for all of the products I mentioned in the White With Style coupon code will be down below in the description box. Sentences right now are not coming out. You guys only knew how many times I've tried to film these last few sentences. If you liked this video and it was helpful for you, there we go. Give this video a thumbs up. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.